Right now, we are less than 48 hours away from the Ohio State Buckeyes meeting the Marshall Thundering Herd at Ohio Stadium. As kickoff draws near, there are growing concerns, though, about safety in the campus area. This follows two Buckeye alerts being sent out due to shootings there. We are certainly concerned with this specific investigation and this incident, uh, but I'm also concerned about the broader trends. And with that, we thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 5. I'm Jennifer Bullock. I'm Jared Smalley. Columbus police are searching for the people responsible for a shooting incident on North High Street near 11th Street last night. Though no one was injured by gunfire, Columbus and Ohio State police leadership say that this is cause for heightened awareness as we enter the weekend. NBC4's crime and safety reporter Anna Hoffman has been talking with police and students about what's being done after these violent incidents. She joins us live now from OSU Police Headquarters with more. Anna. Jen and Jared, OSU students tell me they're feeling freaked out. Both Ohio State and Columbus police say people should expect to see more law enforcement officers around the campus areas this weekend. They also tell me that President Ted Carter has been in communication with the mayor's office to discuss preventing future violence. All of this is concerning to me and we take this very seriously here. Columbus police are searching through hours of surveillance video to find those responsible for a shooting on North High Street and 11th Street Wednesday night. Scared, definitely very scared. Ohio State Police sent out a Buckeye alert to students just minutes after dozens of Columbus police officers responded to the area. Police believe this started with a fight but did not specify how many people were involved. They say no one was injured injured by gunfire. I immediately called my friend who lives on 11th Street just to make sure she was okay. My TAs and all fellow co-workers were like, you're not walking home, like, we're all, we're, we're gonna ride together. This shooting comes just two days after a different shooting on John Herrick Drive. Police have arrested and charged Richard Patridge, who is not affiliated with the university, in connection to this shooting. Game day is just a day, hours away, coming off of these incidents. Does that concern you at all? And will it change your approach on how you guys handle game day? All of this is concerning to me, and we take this very seriously here. I would say on game day, we have the added benefit that we have hundreds of extra officers on campus for a game day. It will slightly change regarding staffing and responsibilities uh, for the off-campus area, but we will have uh, a lot of uh, personnel dedicated to the game on Saturday as well as Friday and Sunday. Both OSU Interim Police Chief Monica Mole and CPD Assistant Chief Gregory Bodker say the actions this week bring up concerns about broader crime trends in Columbus. So whether it's uh, mental health and addiction issues or the prevalence of guns uh, or youth violence, these are things that we need to partner with other community and city resources as well. Columbus police are hoping to release pictures or videos of those involved in Wednesday's shooting as soon as possible. Assistant Chief Bodker says he has a message to those involved. He says to turn yourself in and to the community. He asks if you have any information to contact police right away. Local for you at Ohio State Police Headquarters, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4.